Yeah, I think you go out under pressure when you're chasing. Sometimes if you're chasing too much, it I don't come across the pennines too often, I tell you that much. That is score some runs, and that's the first one. Pitched up. Timing and the placement. Superb. A little easier, but much more attractive. And again, down the wicket, down the ground. And that will be another four for Eve Jones. Not use your feet. I love seeing this intent from opening batters. Tried it once, failed, hit a boundary. Right, just forward of square as well. Oh, went straight back to it. But Ballinger unable to hold on to it or maybe even get hands on it. Full toss and punish through that gap between mid off and extra cover. And the boundary for four. Line the batters to get set to one specific bowler so that they can't line her up. But the change has not really worked. At the train station of all places, crunched downtown. Butch, jump out and get that while you're dirty, please. Happy for the day as well. Memorable, memorable start. Too full, and that has been hit very hard. One bounce. Having a chat to the bowler with just about that. Change the field up. Square leg. Up and not over. Excellent. Kate Cross back into the attack. Alice Davidson Richards takes the catch. And it Usually it works, but once in a while, you can't get the elevation. You hold out. That's a good catch. Really good bowling change as well. Flick to start. Goes for the reverse again and gets it this time. Those who have played here will know that once it gets past you, going down the slope. And that's exactly where it goes. And taken. Alice Davison Richards reads the mind of Amy Jones and gets the better of that mind. Puts the extra fielder out on the boundary as well. Amy Jones just doesn't get enough of it to get over the, the fielder and over the rope. Oh, fetch. That has gone many, many a mile right on cue. Going for a, a, a Yorker, it looked like, missing it by quite a good good margin, and it's still got to get this. The Duke in particular has always been um, moved over here. Yes! Oh, superb! Absolutely superb. Jimmy Anderson just said, you stick the hand out, do the hard work, and hope they stick. Well, this one's stuck. It's timed well, but what, what a catch. Stuck out two hands, went into the right hand. That is really, really special. Oh, the fielding's been pretty good so far, but that one has just managed to go straight through the skipper, Holly Armitage. The skipper, just getting a little bit wrong here. The dive, he's got a body in the wrong position. And again into the pitch and, and again pretty much a carbon copy of the dismissal we saw of Amy Jones and Alice Davidson Richards continues to take the wickets. Just knowing your diam the diameters of the of the pitch that you're playing on, so she's bowling that slower bouncer. Leg sides out. Oh. What a pickup. Sophie Devine pace was off. Wasn't quite there with the execution in terms of the line, so an excellent five balls for the Birmingham Phoenix. I think that's good running. Marla, a little bit slow to react to come through. They probably will go upstairs just to check it. An easy decision for TV umpire Nigel Long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit him out, hit him out. Well, they're off straight away. Oh. Fits directed. It's going to be close. I think Marlot is probably in trouble here. Alice Davidson Richards has given it. Yeah, we are going to go upstairs. Oh. She got it up and over. No. No, she does not. As soon as she made contact, Sophie Devine let out a groan. She knew she didn't get it up. 
for her last set of five. Easy Wong has uh, nailed that. Ball travels a little further downhill. Oh, just like that, or has she picked out the field as she has? It's Alice Davison Richards. Can't keep her out of the game at the moment. Right idea from Izzy Wong. And that is a good running catch, as I said earlier. The feeling has been very good. Oh. Edged, and that'll go all the way down to third for four. They need a bit of good fortune, and that brings up the 100 for the Phoenix. Can get it over mid on, though. Oh, that's an excellent strike. Really good. Short ball. She's going to try and come back for two. Free ball might be struggling. Yeah, gone. Was uh, a lot to do for Abby Freeborn. She's quick in the field. She's got a terrific arm. This bounce throw. Flat and straight over. A certainly strong overseas players. Lots of Alice Davis and Richards and Kate Cross have uh, proven their worth as senior English players. Short, wide, edged. And a boundary to start things off. Not the greatest piece of cricket you'll ever see. Chase as well. Just managed to creep over before the dive pulled it back in. Down. Oh, right on cue. Right on cue. What a piece of timing and placement that is. Just at the last second, you see her open the face of the blade. Yeah, and this is great oh, for... Down. Any younger player watching in this format of the game, yes, it's short and sharp. Yes, it is about trying to find the boundary. Placement again. Yeah, just working the angles again as well. Played it late, which meant she could get it pretty much anywhere she wanted to. The later the player, the more you can work your wrists. Pace. Good line and length, but it's been edged and it'll fly away for four. Bit of width on it, which is what enticed Rodrigue. She wanted to hit that in front of square, but thick outside edge, she just races away. Oh, that's a bad ball. That is a bad one. Jeremy Rodrigue does not need inviting twice. Or maybe over pitch it, and for Izzy Wong, she does tend to over pitch when it's doesn't come out quite right. Difficult to maintain a good position at the crease when that's the case. Ah! Oh, that's good. That's good, and it's gone. That's melted into the shin of Jemmy Rodriguez's front pad, and that looks pretty good to me. And Izzy Wong, I just watched her in her run-up then, actually, and it looked a lot more fluent. She didn't overstride on that occasion, and that just showed, actually, when you have that rhythm as a bowler, it comes out. Comes ball tracking, Roof decision was out. It's quick turnaround in terms of the decision. X. Oh, shot. Oh, that's a great shot. Goal of opening the batting to take on the bowlers. You see most batters today when they've looked to find the boundary. Oh, shot. That is beautifully timed from Phoebe Litchfield. She's from Phoebe Litchfield, her bread and butter shot. Nice, simple cover drive. Such good hands through the... Oh, wow. I think that could be even better. Burst and it's gone fine and that'll race away for four. Good skills. Oh, brilliant use of the feet. Lofted over. Sophie Devine up inside the circle at mid on. Yeah. Oh, very well bowled. Ambitious shot, that is for sure. 
And Levick picks up the wicket and a much needed one for the Phoenix. You can see that she was tr trying that reverse sweep, but trying to she change the legs around and try to hit it that bit harder. And just, uh, yeah, well, pick the wrong ball. Oh, crunched really nice use of the feet again and timing away over extra cover. Yeah. They're clever. She's got touch as well as timing and power. Touch for four to find leg. That one behind point. And four more. Three in a row for Phoebe Litchfield. Phoenix have got no answers to this. Picking the gaps, hitting it hard, timing it well. Fielder's got no chance. Timed again, and this might be four in a row, and it is for Phoebe Litchfield. Some quality betting on show. They needed early breakthroughs, and we see another beautiful shot by Armitard. My oh, all the times we were easy. Sort of reverse, I say that easy, but they do make it look so easy. Yeah, they're just making it look far too easy, and I have to agree with you, Kumar. That's just a beautiful shot again. Litchfield just showing us the entire gamut of her stroke. That's it powerfully, it's gone in there, and that is an easy catch. A breakthrough finally for the Phoenix, some respite. You just never know. Well, Flarty tried to go down deep mid-wicket. She looked to have uh, all of the attributes in the long form of the game, didn't she, during the test match at uh, Trent Bridge? Catch it, catch it, oh, just down in front of us, and that will do it. Alice Davidson Richards backs up her wickets in a run out with a lovely lofted off drive.